Okay. As far as expectations go, I am expecting Candle to take this pretty handedly. Um, but we'll see what Aspen District can do. Um, if I had to bet money on a build, I would guess that um, Candle's going to start with a um, DT Warp Prism build. He really likes uh, using it. I think recently he said like it's kind of fallen off in the most recent patch, but he, he really likes that build. So I'm guessing that's what he's going to do. Without any further ado, uh, in the top left corner, playing the blue Protoss, we've got Candle. And in the bottom right, our red Zerg, we've got Aspidistra. And I'm being joined by my bro, Oxtafox. Sup, man? That was painful. But you know what? <laughs> Just as my shirt says, I'm going to stay salty. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great way. Let me, let me see that. It's got stay salty right there, and it's also got it on the back. That's amazing. That's Just like a Florida shirt? Like, yeah. I got it in Key West. That's beautiful. So anyway, uh, on to the show. I, I already told Stream that my guess is that Candle's going to go for uh, DTs with a War Prism. Yeah, I think he's going to go for DTs and a War Prism. He's always got to try that one time. If he's playing Zerg, he's going to go for that at least once. Oh, he, he loves that build. It's so good. He was talking about... um uh, uh Oh, shoot. Who's the guy that used to come all the time? The Zerg that would loves talking... Oh, Dan. Musician. Yeah, Dan. Dan. I miss Dan. Shvek, there we go. I need Dan to come back. Um, you'd be like, yeah, I play Shvek. I let him know I'm doing this build, and we'll just play it like a million times in a row. Win every time. Like, <laughs> It doesn't matter if he knows it's coming. Like, I will just win with this build. And it's so weird because the build has fallen out of favor. It's been figured out. It's just for some reason... He's just got that, like, charisma or something. As he long as like, you can execute, yeah. Like, like something about it, he's just like, you know what? I got this. And he does have a – he's really good on uh, scouting. Knows exactly when that spawning pool is going to finish up. Yeah, he does keep it in for those 15 seconds that it takes. You have 15 seconds after the pool pops to uh, get that probe out of there and not lose it. Oh, yeah, while the lings are being made. Yep. All right, then Aspidish with his scout. Nothing too crazy or, uh, you know, not uh, abnormal. I was going to say unnormal. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing uh, too crazy so, or abnormal yet, though. So far, everything's looking pretty cookie cutter. Mm -hmm. It's your typical opener. He's going for that uh, quick adept. Trying to uh, counteract the... Uh, oh, what? Why would he be the, building the, a Twilight Council? That's so weird. I don't know, man. I, I mean, I, he might be going for quick blink. What could he be going for? I guess adept for, or I guess uh, he wants gladeps. I yeah, mean. he's gonna go glaive for that one adept, dude. All right, trying to get the stalker out to try to deny this uh, overlord. overlord. For those who don't realize, Definitely we're completely it. joking. He's going for dark templars. Yeah, he's almost undoubtedly going for that DT. We'll have to see uh, when he reaches. Oh, he has. He's maybe waiting for the uh, overlord to get out of there, but he should be throwing down that robo uh, facility pretty soon. Yeah, there goes the robo right now. Yeah, but is it in his natural? Yeah. We are going to be seeing some glorious DT action. That adapt's going to be annoying. It's fine. Can't do too much by itself. It will get pushed off. He was able to see that Twilight Council, but that's all he's able to see. Which, Twilight First isn't necessarily DT, but we know it's DT because it's Candle. Yeah, I was just I don't know how familiar... Oh! That unfortunate. 8 <laughs> HP. <laughs> oh. Um, yeah, I don't know how familiar Espedistra is with Candle's uh, tendencies, I guess we'll say. He's yeah, we haven't had do you see Candle this? here in a while. Do you see what's so. happening? Oh. I think there might have been a uh, slip in But his he's, head. like, building, like, things on. I guess maybe he thinks one's, like, a pylon. Maybe. I mean, it does have a slightly more unique uh, animation, but... There's literally nothing could be built. I, th I think he just had a little, uh, a little mental slip right there, and he just made two... Dark Shrines, or he's flexing on us all. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah, Because, <laughs> like, you can't get double upgrades. There's only Blink. Like, there's nothing else he's you like, can He's like, you get. know what? If he destroys one of them, I at least have a backup. <laughs> right next to it. <laughs> you have to get through both of these. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Kendall was saying that he's, you know, not super in practice right now. He wasn't even really planning to play today. Uh, we, we just kind of begged him. him. It. Yeah. Um, so we'll see what happens. He's getting the War Prism out. <laughs> one of the... Uh, Dark Shrines are finished. If the other one finished, is that just such a waste of... 
That, that's a lot of resources put into that. That could delay his attack. It's a, a cool lot. looking, uh, you know, built Sim City now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it it <laughs> looks cool. It's a mega pylon. <laughs> yeah. You've heard right. of uh, Artosis pylons? This is an Artosis dark shrine. Oh yeah. <laughs> Make sure if you kill one. And, right. and this four is gonna going take to take out this hatch so fast. If you didn't think like DTs did enough damage, just like watch this hatch get shredded. Oh, it's it is absolutely disgusting to see how fast they take this out. It's like seven volleys or something, and it's just done. And just gone. He is sending another one out to uh. Oh. Uh, yeah. Wow. Oh, he got it. Nice bile. But the problem is he has no detection, <laughs> and layers on the way. He has one. Oh, God. He has one spore crawler. Oh, he has another oh, one right there. Oh, okay. candle did not pay attention. That could have been a lot better because he did not have to get in within range of that spore crawler. I mean, still, I think even if he loses both these DTs, the damage has been done. The third base has been taken out. Yeah, the third has been delayed significantly. Another queen goes down. Possibly another ravager because it ran the wrong the way. The ravager, no. Dude, and it takes three hits. That's so crazy. Dark Templar are so good. I was like, just normal. Like, if they're just like if they're uncloaked. Not, if, they're, if they're cloaked, I mean, nice and easy. Don't got to worry about it. But if those things go unchecked, they will kill everything. Absolutely this everything. This hatch is going I to... Just, yeah, it might have to be canceled. Like, I really hope I see a uh, overseer get morphed if he doesn't have one already. Um, I don't think I see it in the production. wanders over. I, he's just making some overlords, but... What are these guys going to... Oh, uh, he doesn't have an overseer. Okay. Do you want to be cool... Uh, oh, there's so those are going okay. down. Uh, so I've seen people he did focus down the Ravager though, or try to focus that down. Yeah, that's... that was actually really close. Um, I have seen people uh, capture um, uh, DTs with Lings, basically, like get them around them and then hold position, um, hold command. If you could do that and then do corrosive biles on them or something, you know, that would be impressive. That'd be crazy. It's like a one of my favorite. That's a big brain strat right there. Yeah, my favorite biggest big brain strat is. Uh, if there's like something burrowed or like a like widow mine or like a, a roach burrowed, um, Protoss will like send like a uh, a zealot over it and then shoot it with an archon, and the splash damage will get to it. That so, is like my favorite thing to watch. That, that is such a big brain, 200 IQ strat right there. Does He's, have the immortals? Is this the first time I've seen him make an immortal today? This might be the first maybe. time I've seen him actually make an immortal today. <laughs> He's going for that little bit of that soul train, the uh, the sentry immortal, really heavy on those. Just try to force field uh, all the zerg units out. Yeah, force fields; those can be devastating, mm -hmm. especially when all your units are ranged. So like, you pretty much don't lose anything from getting the force fields out. Like sometimes I get like too many charge lots, and then I use force fields, and then I'm like, all right, after I clear out what's on my side of the force field, I'm kind of just getting shot at. Like, it so, almost starts hurting me. But I I'm trying to think. I don't know how well this will hold. There's not a lot of mutas, and with the stalkers, those will just obliterate any muta. Yeah, there are enough stalkers that, unless you have a, he d he is attacking. Really sizable they are mutas. currently trading right now. The muta flock did make its way in. However, that third base is definitely going to go down right here. Ooh, get some nice corrosive biles. Oh, actually, it only hit one stalker. That's insane. It looked like it was like on the entire army. Yeah, Candle's pretty okay. Oh, and he warp. He has a plenty of to warp in. Yeah, he's to deal with that. How many uh, gateways does he have currently? Has he gone for his patented eight gates? Uh, it's, uh, I thought it was B for buildings. T for buildings. There, there we go. Structures. They're out buildings. Uh, okay, they're he's structures. got seven. He's almost got his eight. Okay. But either way, there is not a lot of mutas out. Yeah, I mean, and this unfortunately, is... Unfortunately, this is just... The army supply is in Kennel's favor, and I think the tech supply is probably it really is. In the his the favor Pokey as well. boys have made it in, but I don't think they're going to be able to do too much. They're taking out a couple of these stalkers, but there's just so much following it. Seven gateways behind this. Mm -hmm. GG is called. Candle takes game one. Really well done by Candle. All right, Candle takes that first game. Uh, the second game will be on Automaton. Automaton. <laughs> yeah. One, one of my guaranteed band maps. Oh, there's Automaton? Yeah, Auto Automaton and King's Cove. Those are my two auto bands. I think those are both... Uh, Automaton might not be good for can rushing. King's Cove I like for can rushing. I think 
One of the maps I have an 80% win rate on, and it might be King's Cove. I have an 80% win rate against Protoss right now. Oh, yeah? And I think a 60-something percent against Terran, and then a 30% against Zerg. Oh. And it's like, this season, man. Am Protoss? What? Oh, he said ready to go. <laughs> Am Protoss, winky face? What does that even mean? I don't know, man. <laughs> I love Candle, dude. <laughs> <laughs> What's great is when he was giving me a little bit of coaching on my stream, mm -hmm. um, he would just constantly be like, why are you not spending money? <laughs> <laughs> I could guarantee you every single game I would get some kind of message from him saying, spend your damn money. <laughs> 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 All right, so it's best of three. Candle up 1-0. In the top right-ish, <laughs> um, we got the blue Protoss. In the northeast. Candle, yeah, right? Like, <laughs> in the 2 o'clock slot. And then in our bottom left, the one, the only, Aspidistra, who cheesed the crap out of me last game. <laughs> yeah, it, it was like semi-cheesy. I, I honestly... Embarrassingly, I try to call out that it was going to be more cheesy. Like one of you, I thought I thought you more than him. So I I am known as that guy who's willing to go for that stuff if Weird I'm down a game. Shit, yeah. Like if I'm down a game, I will go for something stupid. But for some reason, I thought you know what? That's predictable. Let's go for an honest game. And then he 15 hatched me. Yeah. And I should have known because I do practice that build. So when I saw his creep was so far ahead from the hatchery, I should have been like, this is a 15 hatch. I need to hold this, but I didn't click in the moment, and well, we saw what happened. We saw, yeah. No, <laughs> I mean, saw. you held it. Pr it was literally those two banelings were like, yep. I mean, obviously, there are other points in the game where you could have gotten a better lead or a weaker lead, but like, those two banelings were the that, that was the headshot the, that, yeah, that executioner. Was, that, that was the Apex Legends. He pressed E when I was on the ground and did a finisher on me, <laughs> and my teammate wasn't there to help me. <laughs> I held that L. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was that was rough. And it literally was like, you know, one of those commentators curse where like Candle was just talking about how you could bring it back, you know. This is looking fine, he's got the worker advantage. Oh, he he, he loses. Yeah. He, he's <laughs> he's dead. <laughs> but oh well. It it was looking back at it I can laugh. Yeah, and with the way we're gonna hashtag positivity. Have this tournament go. Uh, you should make it out of pools anyway. Woo! As long as you beat, you know, the other two guys, or yeah, whoever's close to you. As long as you beat them, you'll go into the single of them round. That's like, cause I, cause I still have to face Lingvoy, Loki, Izzy. Um. What's his name? Gorgatron. Gorgatron. I was gonna say Gigatron, but I knew that wasn't it. <laughs> um. Yeah, we're just kind of a. Just kind of. Speaking nonsense currently, because everything is pretty much identical to what happened last time. Yeah, can I go for that Twilight? I'm hoping that Aspidistra knows what's happening this game. Uh, I don't know. Like, again, I don't know how much he knew, like, before the game started that, like, Candle loves this build. Yeah. So I don't know if he's expecting someone to do the exact same build again. But you gotta... That, that's the mind game, though. In any best of three, that is the mind game. Will they go for the cheese again? Yeah, it's those those Yomi levels of you which know, I don't even consider this build cheese. It's just a timing attack that does well. Yeah, it's just a specific timing attack. Exactly. Where if you're not defending four DTs, then you're gonna get what happened first game. Exactly. <laughs> That's exactly. what's gonna happen to you. He, he just gets you. <laughs> he gets you so far behind with it. Mm -hmm. And then you already have the robotics facility to start pumping out those immortals. And like once you get some sentries and immortals. Protoss is so good. I almost wonder if you just stay on two base as Zerg oh. instead of taking the third. He's going for the it's charge off. Yeah. He's going for the charge law push. So I would love to see after like an immortal or two, uh, all the gas to be gone. Yeah. Like, like just only do minerals and then just do tons of uh, zealots and keep reinforcing with tons of zealots. He but, doesn't have much to defend against this initial push, though. And this is a hard counter build versus Zealots. Yeah. Ling Bane, Bane Lings are will just, destroy this. Like, go ahead and charge into me. Like, yeah, please. <laughs> come have to fun, me. dude. He really needs some sentries out, I think, to get some good force fields out. Because 
Oh, these are so this is so many. I say this isn't the fifteen hatch. He's just doing a ling flood. He's halted his and does candle drone production. or does a uh, aspidistra? All right, so he doesn't know about any of the tech. He's really just doing this blind, but it's a very good counter. Yeah, it's a, it's a fantastic blind counter. No, don't hit it on that. Okay, most of them are gone now, though. I mean, that that's that's fine. But oh, I mean, the cyber, is, that's huge. The cyber being down, that means you can only reinforce with zealots. And if you can just keep making banes, zealots suck. Yeah, but unfortunately, he doesn't. Or he has three banes right now. That'll take out pretty much none of them. <laughs> um, but at this point, Candle can hold this. He, yeah. Losing all of those banelings right there, I think, is not necessarily the best move. Yeah, if you use like maybe half those main links and then just got the I just push through the wall, push through the hold. Yeah, because he had the surface area on the cyber core. The um, links could have taken that out easily, but he is gonna go and hide a couple links. We're gonna see some uh, sneaky boys. They're gonna go ahead and morph up. This is what he did to me. <laughs> yeah. We've got some zealots able to fight this off. If we could hit the uh, production tab. Thank you, sir. I just want to see. He is going all yeah, in. Yeah, he's has not produced oh a worker. Oh my god, those zealots are just slaughtering everything. Oh no. Yeah, he's not really able to reinforce. Oh, uh, he's just on move command. You did get uh, you got a, significant a nice chunk splatter, of... yeah. Let's check out. Oh, but the resource is lost. Yeah, Look at this those is, units, this dude. Is... I don't know, man. I don't know. This is this could go either way now. Could uh, it? I feel like. <laughs> It could. It looks like Candle. Can Candle has this unless Espedistra pulls out some more Banelings and just wipes this push, which I don't think is going to happen. These that at drone, least look at that hero. Out. Oh, no, he got stabbed. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> yeah. It's so weird. Oh, no, those didn't get to finish. Yeah, Candle's in a really good spot. There GG go. is called. And Candle won that Candle game without a cyber core. <laughs> he won. <laughs> All those units were just zealots. I really think, though, if the Banelings, if he just had not thrown them all into the cyber core. Mm -hmm. If he saved a few of them for the zealot uh, well, warping. If he, had, if he had just pushed through the, uh, push, take out the, um, a, the adept, mm -hmm. and then push through and kill the stalker, one, he would have done more splash damage that way. He would have hurt the buildings anyway. But then yeah. his links could finish that off and then push through, take a few off, make some bane links while the warp ends happening, and then you could just clean. Yeah, it up. yeah. I think if he basically had like four or five uh, bane links during the warp in, the initial warp in for the defensive warp in, yeah, it would have been a totally different. That's game. pretty much it. Yeah, like you can't reinforce fast enough to defend against that. But um, overall, good game. Yeah, pretty sick game. Uh, and like we said, uh, Candle definitely is. The higher seed, uh, he's seeded second, uh, right below Lingboy, because I think the last time they played, Lingboy did win. Um, yep. Yes, they did. But yeah, so Candle, very good. Espedistra, obviously good as well, but is in a lower bracket than Candle. Yeah, which to say the least. You you can see the, you can see going in just the difference, but mm -hmm. overall, good game. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna get another stream on match, uh, another match on. I've said that twice. Stream another stream on match. Another match on stream real quick, uh, so we'll be right back.